Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. You have that raising from the dead power, the greatest display of God's power that has ever existed in the history of the world. That same power is in you. That is the gospel in one sentence right there. You've already got it. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our broadcast of the Gospel Truth. Today I'm into my second week of teaching on a subject that I've entitled, You've Already Got It. And I tell you, this is powerful. This is one of the greatest applications of what I've taught under the series that I call Spirit, Soul, and Body. It's talking about who you are in Christ. And once you understand that in the Spirit, you are already complete, that your Spirit is as completely saved as it will ever be, it is identical to Jesus, 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. And once you understand that, then you understand that you aren't trying to get more of God. You've already got the fullness of the Godhead. The rest of the Christian life is a releasing, it's a renewing of the mind to what you already have and then learning how to release what you already have. That's what I've been talking about, and we've been dealing with this uh, now for this is my seventh program. I started this series a week ago yesterday. So I I've basically covered Ephesians chapter one. If you've missed any of this teaching. Please go back and get it. Uh, you can go to our website. We have all of our programs. Uh, located on there, and you can watch Monday's broadcast. You can go back through the entire previous week. And it, you need to have the context of all of this. But in chapter one, it was all written not about what God might do, could do, would do in the future. But it's all about what has already been done. You're already blessed with all spiritual blessings. You have already been chosen in him. You are already accepted in the beloved. You already have wisdom. You already have been sealed and on and on it goes. And then he prays a prayer in verses 15. Through the end of the chapter, verse 23, this is Ephesians chapter 1. And he prays that your eyes would just be opened to what you already have, the greatness of the power that has been directed towards you, the same power that was used to raise Jesus from the dead. Now, 
Those are the things we've already covered. Man, if you've missed any of that, please, please get it. It would change your life. Bemu no kubintu bietu zetura ba era wabanga tona funa someri yoka nkubudi de yefu nire ligenda kuchusi za dalobura mubo. So let's continue into chapter 2 and remember that the Bible was not written in chapter and verses. These were added later to help us identify things and they're very useful. I'm not criticizing it, but I'm saying that chapter 2 is not a new thought. It's not like it's a new chapter and it somehow or another is not unre- it's not related. This is just a continuation of the exact same things that we've been studying. All the way through chapter 1. So in chapter 2 it says you hath he quickened. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Notice it didn't say you can he quicken. If you will pray he will quicken in the future. This is obtainable. It's possible. No. He saying you have already been quickened. The word quickened means made alive. When you got born again, you were raised from the dead. And some people think, well, man, it's still the same body that I've got. No, but the spirit man was dead in trespasses and sins. And you've been raised from the dead. You've been quickened. You've been made alive. And in the spirit, you are a brand new person. 2 Corinthians 5.17, a new species that never existed before. Your spirit is perfect, and that's what it's talking about. Notice it's all in the past tense. That when you get born again, this is not something that you are moving towards. That will be finalized and complete. When you go to heaven, no, your spirit is is saved right this moment. As it will ever be, it's not going to be cleaned. Dusted off, infused with more power. You have the same spirit on the inside of you right this moment that you will have throughout all eternity. Man, that is powerful. I've already taught on that. In verse 2 it says, Wherein in time past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath 
even as others. Nga tuko langa, omubili nebi lozo bie gagara, ilanga tuko bere langa, olobu zalira nwa abana, abobu sungu, nga nabalala. Again, the same terminology. Now it's talking about who you were before you got born again. Ate da katiwana achijia yomu ngeri endala katiwano ate ayogera kwecho che walinga tona lokoka. And all of that is in the past tense. You were by nature. Ida katiwano chovola bantino ayogera era atenga yogera echa yitanga agama nti echo che wali mubuzali danwa. A children of wrath. But you are not by nature a child of the devil anymore. Nti kati wali mumwana mujemu ne kati tocha ali mwana wabujemu kati sawe no ya lokoka. Again, there's confusion in the body of Christ over this. The average Christian, I would say the majority of Christians believe that you have a new nature and a sin nature. That's not what the Bible teaches. I'm not going to teach on this right now, but your sin nature is gone Na yate kankubuli lecho sigena kusiche ngendo so mesake sawe no leche njaga lukuga mantino imbala ye chibi ya, ya guawo da erigo ya lukoka. And all you have is a new nature and it's not in a baby form. E ilakati imbala joyina imbala empia atenga na yo siga mantino nto obaya muana muto. It is absolutely complete, full, but the problem is wabula imbala yo etu kilide ere ya juziwa na ye chizipu chiri inti. That we don't know what we have. We've got to renew our mind. The growth in the Christian life. Is not your spirit growing. It's your mind growing in understanding and how to release it. And then your actions growing in obedience. To what God is showing you. But in the same way that we are already all of these things in Christ. You are now no longer all of these things. You were children of wrath. Even as others. In verse 4 it says, But God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. Boy, that is a powerful verse. You can read this in some translations. That I'm doing it by memory now, but it says something similar to that God. For his great love. And in order to satisfy his great love, commended his love toward us. Nti oluo kwa gara kuokunji, oluo kubanti atu kiliza ye o kwa gara kuokunji ya tuo kwa gara uko. In other words, God didn't love us because we were lovely. Mubufunze chila ganti katonda te ya tuwa gara kubanti tuwali tuwa garika. He loves us because he is love. 1 John chapter 4 verse 8. Wabula ye ya tuwa gara kubanga ye ye kwa gara. Ere balwa yokane soka nyamunana. In verse 5, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together. Again, this is something that's already a reality. It's not something that we are in sins, and if we will praise God, that someday he will quicken us. No, we were in sins. Before we got born again. And now we have already been quickened, made alive together with Christ. For by grace, ye are saved. And hath raised us up together. Notice the terminology. He hath done it. It's already happened. So 
SOME OF YOU DON'T FEEL RAISED FROM THE DEAD. THAT'S BECAUSE YOU LIVE IN YOUR physical body abamu no kankuli abalo ko katemukiririza dalanti no mwazu kuziwa dalwachi kubanga endogoza za mwezo na zira babintu bya mubiri and in your emotions more than you live in who you are in Christ nempulira ya mumujiteka mu ngeri yo ujo ulira mu okusinga echo choli mu Kristo but if you could understand and receive this and change your identity to Nesingo malanofu na chino era no chikiriza era no chusa necho choli this is not who i am you know, if you're in prison right now, no manira dalanti ne dane daba nangi chino chendi chenda ba mobili siche chochendi katika ngeza singoli mukomere sawe no. Maybe you've done something wrong, and you are every day being confronted with your sin. Era kare kanga menti wakole nsobi era ngabuli kasera olumba gani ziwane chichibicho wakola. And you're being incarcerated and separated from the world because of the danger you were. Newe sanga anti no ba kukuata ne ba kuteka mukomera ne ba kuawula kunsi oruo kubanti oli muntu mucha mu nyera we dali kiziwa. To people you're being punished. O kubanga we da mubantu no recho katiba kuteka wala nyono kuva mubantu. Some of you, it would be easy for you just to think, but I am a con. Abasinga kumochi jakuba angu yiro gamba manange siri muntu mulungi ndi muntu mchamu. And I am a crook. I have murdered or whatever it is. Ndi muntu mubinyo na tanaba antu. Nebi ntubyo nebi nebi wakola. But you know, when you get born again, you become a new person in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Nate ka nkuguli de wumala no fuko unolo koka obo fuse muntu muja era bakuli nse choku bili chayo gira kutu bakuli nse choku bili tano kumina msambu. And even though you may still have physical consequences, you may still be in that jail cell. Irane wankuba denti kalo sovolo kubange ilo funa ebio ebi kutuka konga biya mubili ngo kugeza ilo chari mukomira. You are not that same person anymore. Na yoru wakubanti oloko se ume wankubado chari mukomera obato chari muntu yomu. You have been quickened together with Christ. Luwa hachinti ne wankubade o chari mukomera na yate o zuku sidbua era oli wamu ne kristu. You have been raised from the dead. Era o zu baku zu baku wadobulamu o baku wadobulamu no zuki ziwa wamu okuvamu wafu. The spirit man on the inside of you is clean. Eroyo moyo ali munda mugwe atukulizidwa and pure and doesn't have any impurity in it at all. Era fuse mujja tali ko koliona era gwe olabiki olabikira dala munda mugwe nti otu watu kuzidwa. And if you could see that and totally embrace it. Ila singe cho mala no chiraba atera no chikiriza and start living out of your spirit not andi ko kutambula ngo tambu ngo goberere cho cho no kirize cho choli mu moyo watu kuzidwa. You could be free even though you're behind bars. Even if you aren't in prison, you could be free. From the pain in your body, even though you still have that pain there, but you could have it in your heart. You could Gwene woman no kiriza cho chobo fuse mu moyo ne wobo lino obulumi mu bili kankubulire ojja kusubuliranga ofuse wa dembo lwe cho choli moyo No it's done and it's just a matter of time until the body gets in line Kubango ojja kubo chimanyi ntino kasera busera omubiri go gujja kumala gutuna gugu kakanera gukiriza cho choli mu moyo Your whole life flows from your spirit Kubango bulamu bobo na butambulira ko cho choli mu moyo this is why when people aren't born again, that their life, you can do all of the self-help things that you want to. You can go through all the behavior modification courses. That you can go to. And you can change your existence to a degree, but your spirit. Is dead and separated from God. And as it says right here in this verse 3, that you are by nature. A child of the devil, even as others. And if you don't get that spirit changed, you can change the outside all you want to. Go.
Go get plastic surgery. Go get all of this reconstruction done. Abange, nebu ogenda, newe yerusa, nofu nebisuko vyo, nebe nebe na newe chusa chusa, newe tona tona, newe kumure nyindo na matu, newe weko la vyo na. You can make it look good on the outside, but inside, you're still going to be dead. Abange, newe weko la chue, noja kula vikaburu unji nyebu eru, na ye guata na loko kamumoyo wo erobo chari mufu. But on the other hand, when you make Jesus your Lord, you get born again, and even though you could still be in a jail cell, even though you could still have physical problems, financial problems in your spirit, you have been raised from the dead. And you can learn to start letting the spirit man control your life. And it's just a matter of time until what's in your spirit will flow out. Your whole life flows from your spirit and it will flow out through you and it will produce uh, deliverance in your emotions from depression, discouragement, defeat, anger, bitterness, hurt, unforgiveness. It will produce physical healing in your body. But you've got to walk in the Spirit. And you can't do that if you don't know. What's happened to you on the inside? You've got to believe that it's already done. You don't need God to raise you from the dead. You are raised from the dead is what this is saying. He hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. And then in verse 8, it says, For by grace ye are saved. You aren't going to be saved. Now there is a truth that your physical body is going to be changed. Your mind is going to be renewed when we get to heaven. But in the spirit realm, you are already changed. 2 Corinthians 5.17 if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things are become new. In your spirit, you are already changed. So it's not something that's going to happen. It'll be completed, spirit, soul, and body. When we go to heaven, but right now, in this life, if you are born again, your spirit is as changed as it will ever be. 1 John chapter 4 verse 17 says, Herein is our love made perfect. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, speaking of Jesus, so are we in this world. 
mti tubere no bugumu buluna ko lwo musango kuba yenga bwali ngayogera Kristu Yesu bwetuli munsi muno not in the world to come but in this world agamba nti munsi muno so si munse eri jabula munsi muno that's not true of your physical body it's not true of your mind but in your spirit echo no si chitufu ku mubiri go oba mu mundo woza yo na yete chitukirira mu moyo wo you are identical to Jesus right now agama ntinga Kristu bwali no moyo wo go yaloko kabwato bwali dala esaweno if you've been born again oba wobanga walokoka if you've made Jesus your lord ila wobanga Kristu wa mufulo kuba mukama obo mulokozi obula mubo Man that is radical. Kankubulira kino kya manyi nyo. And now in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Ila katwa na Abefeso 2:8 tulabiye. How did all of this happen? For by grace are ye saved. Binobyo nabyo na byatu kawobitya kubanga agamba nti kubanga mwalo ko kalwachisa. Through faith and that not of yourselves it is a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast. Okuita mukukiriza sote chava jemuli Chechirabo cha katonda techapa mubiko lwa omuntu yenale mo kwenyumirizanga This is saying you're saved by grace through faith Chino chira ganno nti walokoka lwachisa okuyita mukukiriza You aren't saved by grace Neta gama nti no walokolebwa lwachisa Or you aren't saved by faith Nti oba walokolebwa lwakukiriza You are saved by the combination of the two Wabula walokolebwa Now let me just go back up to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 in a parenthetical phrase. It says here in the end of the verse by grace you're saved. So I don't think it's totally wrong to say you're saved by grace. No recho kati sija kugama antino oba muchamu nyobu ogama antino waluko kaduachisa. I don't think it's totally wrong to say you're saved by faith. Ateda sigama antino kare inti oli oba muchamu nyobu ogama antino waluko kaduako kiliza. Like for instance, if a person was telling me, hey, God has to save me. Ne katika angize singo mtu agama antino, hey katonda ino kubanga antasa, obanga ansasira. Because I'm such a good person. I mean, I'm better than this person over here. I live so holy. Kubanga luacha ino kukunyamba. Kubanga nzendi mtu kilifu nyo iranzi nitambri ya mtu kilifu kusingo li. I believe God owes it to me. Iranzi izanti katonda ino kukunko lito uro kubo mtu kilifu mbwe nitambri ya mtu. Then I'd say, no, you're saved by grace. Kati ya omuntu bwati onja muga manedda sebo waloko oloko le walwachisa not by what you do sirwe byo byokola gwe that would be a true statement iraka tulaba anti nja kubanjo gedde bulunji but it's not full it's not complete because you aren't saved by grace alone na ya ate kati ya onja kubanjo gedde bulunji na ya ate sitsobola kuveri ne ngama ntino naloko kalwachisa kubanga ekisa chokate chikulokola you are saved by grace through faith Wabule chandi kwa chigama nti twalo ko kalwachisa okuyita mukukiriza. And let me just break this down and share this with you. Chino kangize ko chikumenyera menyera mbenga chigabana nawe bulunjo chitegere. In a way that you can understand this. Kubanzi kiriza nti oja kuchitegera bulunji bwoti. But grace is what God does for you. Na ye ekisa checho katonda cha kukolera gwe. Independent of you. Unga gwe toli nacho wenyigidde munate. Actually before you ever existed. It says in John chapter 1 that we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. And truth, Jesus was grace. He was God's grace manifest to this world. It also says that um, the grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So grace is something that came through Jesus 2000 years ago. Nolecho ekisa cheche chajja okuyita mu Kristu emyaka 10 bidi emabega. It was independent of you. It was before you existed. It's before I existed. Chino chali te chikwata koto ina we chikwata ganira ko kankubulira chino chabera wonga na fefe nate tunabera wo. It doesn't have anything to do with us. 
Era chino de china wechi tukwa ata gani lako da tuina tuche nyigira na mu. You know, you can define grace in many different ways, but... Umanyika do sobo loku oku, oku bango nyo nyole echi samungeri ya zenja ulo na e. Most people would accept that the the simplest definition is that grace is unearned abantu abasinga bajja kukiriza anti no e okisa okchinyonyola cheche kintu chota koleredde unmerited undeserved favor the favor of god e kintu chota gwanide e kintu choyinanga toyina wonna wonna wochenyigidem grace is not based on your performance Echo chichi sacha akatonda nga toyina wantu wona woche nyigide mute chikugwanira na yate nga chikuweredwa. If your performance has to enter into it well then it's not grace. Norecho echi sateche sigama gwe kuwebyo byokoze nengeri jo bikoze mu. Because it's got to be unearned. Era kankubulire e wobango ino kuyingizamu enkola zone byo byokoze kate chibate chichali chisa. Undeserved Kubanga echi sa chino kubanga to chikolele de. Unmerited favor. O kubanga to chigwanira. So it has nothing to do with you. Grace is God's part. O kulaba chicho echi kwe kwe kuganja. O kutukota gwani de. And it is independent of you and me. Norecho te chilina weche sigama kugwe. Norecho echi sa yesaidi ya katonda. So by grace you say God did things. Atenge rate chikuwa ataka nila kodala chao kanila kodala kugwe nange. 2,000 years ago through Jesus. Binobe na wena ya bikola emiaka ankumi bili ya mabego kuita mwyesu. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners. Iranga buwa gama barumi tano munana na enti katonda watu wa yalago kwa gara kwa jetuli inti kubanga buwe tuwali inga tuchari ne bibi. Christ died for us. Buwate kristu na atu fili dafe. John 3:16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's grace. Jesus didn't come to give us what we deserve. We deserve death. Norecho Christ te yajja kutuwe echo chai chitugwani la fetuali tugwani la kufa. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned. Kubanga mbarumi satu abili musatu agamanti kubanga fenatu ayonona. And come short of the glory of God. All of us. Ila neta tuka mchiti wa chakatonda ayogira kufe fena. People will sometimes grade sins and say, oh that's a sinner over there whereas I'm not. Omanyaba antuwa genda ne vata andiko kuleta ebibi ne baviteka mu enja ulo. Musimanya haye chochibi nyate banange zate chosina chitu kako. No, the Bible says all of us have sinned. There's just varying degrees of being lost. Bible ye gama anti kubanga bona bayo no. Nakali wa yinzo kubawe mitendele jenja ule ngeri ya bantu jibabu zemu. Varying degrees of sinner. Wa yinza kalo kubawe mitendele jenja ule ngeri ya bantu jibakula mwe bibi. But all have sinned. Ninge chikulu chiri inti, Bible ya gamanti kubanga fena tuwa yonona. And what is the payment for sin? Iranga kati empera ye chibi yediwa. Well, it's not that those who just do a little bit of sin only get a little bit of punishment. Te chiri inti, ababako ze obubiyo butono tononti, atera buba funa empera ento notono. No, it says in Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Nida yoke rambalumi mukaga abili musatu. The wages of sin is death. Nti empera ye chibi kwe kufa. But the gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life is a gift. It is not a wage. You don't earn eternal life. None of us deserve to be saved. Nobody. You know, relative to other people, I've lived a really holy life. Over 70 years old now, I've never said a word of profanity. I've never used a uh, cuss word. I've never taken a drink of liquor. I never smoked a cigarette. I mean... I've never even tasted coffee. And people, people will hear that and they'll say, are you saying that coffee is sin? 
Kati haba singa manjimu gamba, kashu waka lotu gamba, anti no kawa, ya wa sitani. No, you got scripture that says you can drink any deadly thing and it shall not harm you. Ah, mwine vya wandi, ebiba nyue saka wa, anti muna we, newe munyue vya intu, ebiba butu vya unabia unate vijia kubata. I'm just saying that I've lived a holy life relative to other people, but who wants to be the best sinner? Chengamba, ntino wemba negere gere nyakari na haba antu nze kati uruwa temba ntambu deburu unji nyono ubra mubu wabu tukiri venyo na ye ani ayagalo kubanga ate ye ye mubia singa. That ever went to hell. I've sinned. Ntu ye mubia singa okugenda mugeyena. Kwa kukubuli na nange nyono unji. I've come short of the glory of God and the wages of sin is death. Erebi sera emirundi minji nyona ange mvude nesta tuka mchiti wacha wakatonda na yeba ibuli egamant empera ye chibi kwe kufa. There isn't death number two and death number three. Nuwechu te wali yo kufa kwa kubidisi manyate kwa kusatu. If you fall short of heaven by an inch, you miss it by a mile. Kankubudile buosuwe guru yinche mu. Erobo wenkana kana nori alisubidua imairo namba. I needed a savior. And Jesus came and died for me, but he did it 2,000 years ago. God's grace. Was extended 2,000 years ago before I lived. Before I had sinned, before my need of salvation even existed, God had already paid for my sins. He had already forgiven my sins. Now that doesn't mean that I'm automatically saved. Because it says here that you're saved by grace through faith. Grace is God's part. God did it for us, independent of us. Prior to our need, before we even existed, that's grace. But not everybody saved. Because you have to respond to God's grace. That's what faith is. Na ye oteke dua o kukirize chisacha katonda kati oru e kukiriza chukutegeza. Faith is just a positive response to God's grace. O kukiriza kwe kuda mwoku tufu eri e chisacha katonda. Man, what I'm saying here is powerful. Banange ndo kapapuli chino chemba gamba vinene nyo. This took me probably 20 or 30 years to say the same thing, say the things that I'm saying to you right now. And I know some of you think, well, boy, you're a slow learner. Well, it may be, but I also I think that many of you don't fully understand the profoundness of what I'm saying. Nyinza kalo kubanga ndi nkwata ampola na enzi kilizanti na haba ulira kumwe. Mwinzo kubate muna tegira vuzito na manya gali mchino chenjo geda kati. That grace is God's part and that is done independent of us. Unti echisa yesaidi ya katonda echoche ya kola nga feletu inache tuwe nyigidemu. Prior to our need it has nothing to do with us. Nga nowe tafu wa fetevu na bau kwa gamate china wechiku watakani rako na dara kufnafe. And therefore, you can't claim that somehow or another you deserve salvation. No, it's by grace. But that grace has to be accessed. Matter of fact, it says in Romans chapter 5 verse 2, it says, uh, let me just turn over and read this in Romans chapter 5 and in verse 2 it says by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. You have to access faith, grace. 
Olaba antino olina okulabanga ochiita mu oyina woyita okutuka mu kisa. Grace is done for you independent of you before you ever had done anything good or bad. E kisa chaba wo ngagoto ina wo chenyigidemu eranga tonnakola na bibibyo na. That's grace but you have to access it. E kisa echo chichechiri na yato ino kuchituka mu. And this word access ere kigambo kino kuchituka mu is the exact word that we get admission from the english word admission che chigambo chetu che che oluzungu echitegeza anti okwewandisa nokirizibwa in other words if you go to a movie you have to buy a ticket to gain admission to that mubufunze kale singa kati ogenda mu okulabango yingira ekibanda cha filimu oyino kugula ka ticket akakukiriza okuyingira well you have to have a ticket in a sense to get the grace of god to work for you what is that ticket mubufunze kati oyino kufuna ne ticket yako akagendo kuyambo kutuka mu kisa cha kristo ka ticket yako ke kachi it's faith kitegeza kwe kukiriza and let me say some things right here era kati kambeko wano chemba gamba kati first of all let me define what faith is not okusoka kamale mbanyonyole okukiza kiche kutali I would say that most Christians have heard this phrase about faith moves God. Mzikiriza nti abakiriza banji bauli denjogere ne gamba nti no okukiriza kujja katonda mu ntebe ye natambula. Faith is what moves God. Nti ero kukiriza kwe kuletera katonda okukola. Faith is something you do. Ngwero kukiriza checho chokola in order to get God to move in response to you that okuletera katonda okukolera okusinzira gwe kwecho chobo yagala god is responding to your faith mbukwe gamba ye katonda adamu kukiriza ko you may not put it in those exact words but that's the concept kalo yinzo buto chogera oba chiteka mbika mbo byenjogedde na eranga echinyusi checho chenjogedde that's not what the bible teaches nate kamba bulile echo bible siche yogera faith is not something you do okukiriza siche echo chokola in order to gain a response from God. If you believe that. That's the reason that you're frustrated. That's the reason you get weary. And tired and give up and say God what do I have to do because you are looking at you've got to do something no lidango obikoye no malibwa mu amanyi no tandiko gamba katonda banange enkole ntianzirwa chikubango ulira ntyo inacho ino kukola to make god respond to you in grace okulabanga katonda akuddamu nga akuddamu kuita mukisa no grace is independent of you it has nothing to do with you kankubulire echi sate chikwata ko era te china we chikwata ganira ko nawe you don't get god to respond to you in grace to sobula kuletira katonda kuddamu mukisa Faith is your response to God's grace. Na ye okukiriza kwe kuddamu okutufu eri ekisa kya katonda. Faith is not something you do to move God. Okukiriza siche chintu chokola okuletera katonda okola. But here's what faith is. Ne katika nkulage okukiriza siche kuli. Faith is just your positive response okukiriza kwe kuddamu okutufu okuko to god's grace to what god has already done it eriye kisa kya katonda eriye kyo katonda kye yamale dokola now if god has already done it then that takes all of the work out of it olaba nti kati katonda wabanga yachikola dachitegeza chijjamu ebyo okukola byonna faith isn't a work faith isn't something that's hard and that you have to just you know struggle to operate in faith abange okukiriza simuli musiche kintu cho ino kubera wonti okole olwane nyo ofube nyo kulaba anti okitukiriza faith is just trust it's just relying upon god na ye okukiriza kwe kwesiga kwe kwesiga makatonda but it is being supernaturally at rest kitegeza nti kwe kubera mu chiwumulo e chiwumulo echo bwa katonda in the fact that god i believe by grace you've already done that ngoga manti mukama manyinti okuyita mukukiriza manyide dalaranzi kiriza anti echo wachikola da so faith is just your positive response to god or no recho okukiriza kwe ko kudda mu okutufu eri katonda oba here's another definition and this has really impacted me and helped me oyinzo kuchinyonyola boti kinono champa nyo mukisa era na chochi ne chimpera dalaramanyi 
Faith is just your appropriation of what God has already provided by grace. O kukiriza. Kwe kutu kiriza gwe. Echo. Katonda che ya gabi didada. O kuyita mchisa. If God hasn't already provided it by grace. Chitegeza achi inti katonda. Wabanga tachi gabi didanga koda. Na o kuyita mchisa. Then you can't make it happen by faith. Chitegeza gwe no kukiriza kwa. Toso wala kuchire tila kubao. That's huge what I just said. And again, I don't think that most people understand how important that is. Faith only appropriates what God has already provided by grace. If God's grace hasn't provided it, your faith can't make him do it. God doesn't respond to your faith. Your faith is your response to him. By grace, God has already anticipated every need that you and I will ever have, whether it's physical, healing. Whether it's finances, whether it's emotional, whether it's relational, whether it's wisdom, whatever it is, anything that you will ever need, God by grace has already anticipated your every need. He has put on the inside of every born again believer Everything that you will ever need throughout this life. And even into eternity. There is no lack with God. By grace, it's already there. But it doesn't automatically come to pass. Because not everybody responds positively to what God has done. That's faith. Not everybody appropriates what God has already provided. Sibuli omunti atu kiriza echo katonda chia gabi didedda. By grace, that's faith. Oku ita mchisa, eche ba yitoku kiriza. Not everybody is in faith. Sibuli omunti ye nanti alimu kukiriza. And so faith doesn't make God respond to us. Noro echo kati oku kiriza tekule tila katonda nti atu demu. Faith is our positive response to him. Oku kiriza ye nzira mu entufu e ya fejari katonda. I tell you, if you understand that, that changes everything. That takes all of the work and the struggle out of it. Matter of fact, I'll be dealing with, but Hebrews chapter 4 talks about faith as actually being a rest. Where you're resting. You aren't laboring anymore. That needs more explanation and I will get to it. Man, I encourage you to get this teaching. You've already got it. This is a game changer. This would transform your life. We've got a study guide that is the same material reformatted so you can teach other people. And then I also have 
CDs and DVDs that were taken from our television program. Atenga nina no butambi uh, na masomo amalala getese teso bulunji getu getu jetu jya ku program zino eziba za radio na matelefaina. Please call or write today. No recho katibananga kube simu eyo je bagendo kuwa obenga bakubulire bisingawo. You've already got it. Was profoundly influential for my husband and and I. I'm not going to beg God for anything anymore. I am going to believe for what I already have. All the stuff that I was working to try to receive from God, I already had. So all I have to do is just be thankful for it. Uh, one of my favorite teaching is uh, you've already got it. Finally it was like a uh, dawn of hope in my heart and it was really amazing to know what was on the inside of me. Hello, my name is Rich Kanyali, director of Andrew Mac Ministries and Karis Bible College in Uganda. Did you know that you can enroll at Karis Bible College anytime through the year? With our correspondence program, this gives you the opportunity to study all your classes and do all your exams online at your own pace. You can study at your very, very good comfort in your living room, at your workplace, in the village, anywhere you are, anytime, any place. And so if you're really interested in enrolling here at Karis Bible College, please call our enrollment counselors on 0701-0701. 422747 this number is also on whatsapp or you can call 0778556570 or you can visit us here at our headquarters at uh, Buganda Road Park Royal Plaza levels 5 and 6 or you can even apply at karisuganda.net we love you and god bless you we look forward to seeing you We have offices in Harare, Zimbabwe, Kampala, Uganda, and in Cape Town, Heidelberg, and Johannesburg, South Africa. Visit one of these locations, and while there, stop by our bookstore to see all of Andrew's products. We also have Karis Bible College campuses in Zimbabwe, Uganda, and South Africa. For over 20 years, Karis Bible College has been training and empowering students to know who they are in Christ and to step into their God-given calling and purpose. To learn more about Karis Bible College and to find a campus near you, visit our website or call our helpline. Ngoyagala okumanya bisinga wo kumasomo ga fegano oba ku ministry osobola kuba ku namba ya fe eyesimu eyaba uliriza aba fenge nerine ku WhatsApp group eranga osobola kuweleza SMS oba no kuba nga ogama anti mungatte ku WhatsApp group yaba uliriza oba ngo buze kibuzo chonna enamba yesimu eno eri 0 musanvu 0 mukaga 0 mukaga muenda 3 emu 5 ngambye eri 0 musanvu 0 mukaga Zero Mukaga, Mwenda Satu, Emu Tano. That is zero seven zero six zero six nine three one five. Ojakubo Yambiwa, Ojakubo Yungiwa, Kugrupiawa Udi Zabafe. You are blessed.